Okay, magsasagot naman tayo ng mga uh, factoring problems involving the different techniques ng factoring ng polynomials. Let's start with problem number one. Meron tayong 9x to the 12 minus 36x to the 7th plus 81x to the 5th. So, kailangan natin ang GCF. At ang GCF, or greatest common factor ng polynomial na ito, ay 9x to the 5th. So, ibig sabihin, kapag kanilabas natin si 9x to the 5th, ang matitira na lang sa loob ng parenthesis natin, 9x to the 5th divided by 9x cubed will be x to the 7th. And then, 9x to the 5th divided by negative 36x to the 7th will be negative 4x squared. At 9x to the 5th divided by 81x to the 5th will simply be 9. So, ang factored form ng problem number 1 would be 9x to the 5th times x to the 7th minus 4x squared plus 9. Now, yung sa second problem naman or yung problem number 3, gagamitan natin siya ng difference of 2 squares. So, sa difference of 2 squares, alam natin na kapag perfect square yung first term at second term, pwede lang natin siya ipaghiwalay using the square root of the first and the second term. So, we have 144x squared minus 16. At alam natin ang square ng 144 ay 12 at ang square ng 16 ay 4. So, ang factored form niya would be 12x minus 4 at 12x plus 4. So, yan yung pag-factor naman ng difference of two squares kung yung pattern na given sa atin ay tulad ng problem number 3. At dun sa problem number 4 naman, mapap I mean number 5, mapapansin nyo na meron tayong quadratic equation na yung leading term ay equal to 1. So, sa pag-solve ng problem number 5, kukunin lang natin yung factor ng negative 54 na mag -e equal to 3 kapag in natin siya. At ang factor ng negative 54 na mag -e equal sa 3 kapag in natin siya would be uh, negative 6 and positive 9. Negative 6 and positive 9. Because negative 6 times positive 9 is negative 54 at negative 6 plus 9 ay equal to 3. So, kailangan alam nyo yung multiplication table nyo para makakuha kayo ng pattern na kailangan nyo dito sa uh, factoring technique na ito. So, ang ating factored form ng polynomial natin would be x minus 9 at x plus 9. Na kapag pinoil natin siya, alam natin na x times x is x squared, x times 9 is 9x, and then negative 9 plus x I'm sorry x minus 6 pala ito x minus 6 times x plus 9 so yung ating x times x is x squared x times 9 is 9x negative 6 times x is negative 6x and negative 6 times 9 is negative 54 at saka 9 my, 9 x minus 6 x is equal to 3 x so, tama yung ating factored form ng ating polynomial. Now, sa problem number um, 7 naman, mapapansin nyo na kaiba siya doon sa problem number 5. Kasi this time, yung ating leading term ay hindi na equal to 1. So, when this happens, kailangan natin ng panibagong set ng factoring technique. So, sa so number 7, medyo mahaba-haba yung ating solution. We'll have 7x squared minus 26x minus 8. So, ang una natin gagawin is kukunin natin yung product ng 7 at saka negative 8 which is equal to negative 56. At yung negative 56 ang number na kakailanganin natin para sa ating factors. So, kailangan natin ng factors ng negative 56 na mag -e equal sa negative 26 kapag in natin siya. So, since negative 56 yung product, so alam natin na isa dapat is positive at isa dapat yung negative. So, ang dalawang factors or yung factors ng negative 56 na hinahanap natin would be positive 2 and negative 28. 
once again, kailangan yung alam or malaman or alam na alam yung multiplication table para makuha nyo yung um, mga factors na pwedeng magmatch dito sa ating quadratic equation. At nagmamatch siya kasi negative 28 times positive 2 is negative 56 at negative 28 plus 2 is negative 26. So ngayon, ang bago nating equation would be 7x squared at yung ating bagong um, middle term will be plus 2x minus 28x at yung ating last term will be minus 8. So, kinopya lang natin yung dalawang dulo at yung middle term natin yung panibago na. So, ang susunod natin gagawin is factoring by grouping. So, igugroup natin yung ating polynomial into 2. So, mapapansin nyo na yung GCF nung unang grupo ay x at yung GCF ng pangalawang grupo is negative 4. Kasi yun yung magdi-divide sa negative 28 at negative 8. So yung um, first group will have x outside at ang matitira na lang sa atin is 7x plus 2. At yung pangalawang grupo, ilalabas natin si negative 4 at ang matitira na lang sa loob will be negative 4 divided by 28 is 7x and negative 4 divided by negative 8 is positive 2. So, mapapansin nyo na yung ating 7x plus 2 ay parehas. So, yan yung ating greatest common factor. At ang matitira sa loob will be x minus 4. So, meron tayong 7x plus 2 sa labas. At meron tayong x minus 4 sa loob. At ito yung ating factored form ng problem number 7. At alam nyo na tama yung sagot nyo kapag pinoil out nyo sa or minultiply nyo yung ating factors ay eh mag-equal siya dun sa ating original problem. Now, yung last problem natin would be a problem on factoring by grouping. So, sa number 9, meron tayong 6x cubed plus 8x squared plus 3x plus 4. So, yung ating group ngayon, yung dalawang binomial will be 6x cubed at saka yung 3x plus 4. Now, yung 6x cubed plus 8x squared, ang greatest common factor natin dito would be 2x squared. So, we have 2x squared sa labas at ang matitira sa loob natin would be 2x squared divided by 6x cubed will be 3x. At ang matitira naman dun sa ating pangalawang term, 2x squared divided by 8x cubed would be positive 4. At dito sa ating pangalawang grupo, ang ating GCF dyan is just positive 1. So, ilabas natin si positive 1 at meron tayong 3x plus 4 na matitira sa loob. So, papansin nyo na parehas uli yung ating um, parentheses. So, we'll have 3x plus 4 and 2x squared plus 1 sa loob ng parentheses. So, ito ngayon yung uh, factored form, 2x squared plus 1 and 3x plus 4 ng ating uh, polynomial using factoring by grouping.